As you guys know, we have a big problem in the Western world, specifically in the United Kingdom. We've talked about this for a long time. People like Douglas Murray wrote books about it, the death of Europe and how Islamism will be taken over and not just in the name of terrorism, but actually in regards to mass migration and multiculturalism, we have to talk about what is going on. The infiltration that is undermining the basic conservative values, Christian values, or what we call the basic Western civilization. So. We have a couple of videos here because in British schools, not only they don't really promote uh, Easter, for example, when we have uh, Easter, they don't even really promote Christmas anymore, apart from the commercialized side of it. In fact, during Ramadan, they are forcing uh, Christian kids, pupils and students to write uh, Happy Eid and Ramadan cards. But they're also teaching maths and other lessons using Ramadan as a theme. Let's go to the first video. Hey, this is why we need homeschooling. I took this off my kids straight away. What's this? Happy who? Happy who? If I don't know, then don't show my kid. Pick it up. If I don't know, how can my kid know about this stuff? I don't want to know. Therefore, my kid don't want to know. Look at this one. Now, firstly, big shout out to Turning Point UK for actually finding these uh, videos. The, the disgusting part about this is that uh, they are doing this in the name of being open-minded and progressive and liberal, right? Embracing other cultures. But they're doing it while undermining the existing culture and the values and identity of this nation. That's the problem. If you had Easter cards being sent around the school, the parents of those Islamic kids Oh, they will complain. Oh, they will protest. Oh, they will cancel all the teachers. Let's go to the next video where it shows that they're teaching maths and other lessons using Ramadan as a theme. So this is my daughter's homework um, for maths for the Easter holidays. It's entitled Ramadan themed maths activity booklet. Now, first and foremost, what does Ramadan or any other religion for that matter have to do with maths but let's take a look inside prayer mat two d shapes one of the five pillars of Islam is solo so worship and prayer are especially important can you fill in the missing information key and then color in the shapes I kind of loosely get how it's related to maths by using a key, but come on, they're right. Prayer mat, 2D shapes. Name, how many sides, how many prayer mats. So it's what shapes are the prayer mats, again. Right, counting. Can you fill in the missing numbers in these concepts? Ramadan counting. Counting is counting. What's Ramadan counting? It's just, it's ridiculous. Counting's counting. There's no Christian counting or Jewish counting or Ramadan counting. Counting is counting. Mosque symmetry. Complete this image of a mosque using the line of symmetry to help you. A mosque is a place of worship for Muslims. What does a mosque being a place of worship for Muslims have to do with my daughter's maths homework? And I've stopped here because, here we go, maths homework. Eid al-Fir is a Muslim festival that marks the end of the holy month for fasting known as Ramadan. What is Ramadan? What happens at the end of Ramadan? Why do Muslims fast? What has this got to do with mathematics? Can someone please tell me what this has to do with mathematics? Absolutely ridiculous. This is indoctrination to eight-year-olds. It's a disgrace. Um, she won't be handing it in, and I'll be talking to the teachers about this. This is absolute disgrace. Of course, it's an absolute disgrace. This is pure propaganda and brainwashing. They know exactly what they're doing, but the establishment in this country are best complacent, at worst complicit.